I always wanted to make a 3D horror game, I even had a Unity devlog a few years ago where I tried to make one. I failed, but now I'm a lot more experienced, so surely nothing can go wrong. I wanted a similar art style to its steals. I used this great tutorial to make the trees and ground. It looks like this. I even added a shader to the tree, so the leaves are moving, it's totally like real life, I can't even tell the difference. Then I had to make 3D models. I never did any 3D modeling, I have no idea how it works, but I decided to make a shotgun without using any tutorial. And it turned out quite okay. I basically just put together shapes and slightly modified them. I applied some basic texture, then put it in the game. It looked quite bad, so I asked the Godot subreddit for some opinions, and I got tons of great detailed feedback. So weapon sway is basically when the weapon sways in the direction you're turning to. I programmed some basic weapon sway, and holy shit, it looks even worse. So I remade the script from scratch, and based on the feedback, I changed the gun's positioning and added an arm. Yeah, the hand is a fucking sphere on a cylinder, but nobody will know it anyway. Then I improved the weapon sway script even further. Then I added shooting to the game. I spawned cubes on the bullet's position, so I could see the bullet spread. I also added a sound effect for the shooting and reloading. Then I modeled this. It's a statue of a zombie squirrel, and it's horrible. It looks somewhat better in-game, because the low resolution hides my bad modeling skills. I also created this door with chains and everything. I'll probably rework it later to look better. I added an interaction system, and you can shoot the statue to get a key. You need three keys to open the door and advance to the next section. I added a running mechanic, which will be important later. Then I wanted to add zombies to the game, so I modeled and rigged this zombie, but holy shit he looks horrible. But at least I learned how to rig a model. Instead, I downloaded this free model, which looks much better, although I still had to rig it myself. Then I made a walking animation. I know, it's horrible, his knee is bending backwards for some reason, but it's good enough. Here's how it looks in game. I also made a falling animation so I could kill them. Then I added pathfinding so it could follow and kill me. Then I decided to delete the zombie, because it didn't fit my game. I needed a new enemy. One single enemy, instead of a horde of zombies. Here's Gordon. Modeled fully from scratch.
I downloaded textures for his individual body parts, scaled them down to fit the art style, and it looks great. I had to clean up the forest for Gordon pathfinding because he's fucking big and can't fit through the trees otherwise. I made Gordon always walk towards a random spot on the map. He looks kinda stupid, because he always looks at the target position instead of the way he's going, but later I fixed it, here's the code. I don't wanna spoil anything about the game. If you're interested about the game's story, read this short horror story I posted on Nasleep. The game is not done yet, probably won't be for another few months, but a demo version will be out very soon, probably this month, so keep an eye out. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe.